What is going on, and welcome back to the Journeyman with me, Foggy Place on FM 22. Today, we're taking on Darlington, who managed to beat York in the first semi final. We're in the or, sorry, in the first playoff. We're in the semi final playing them, and if we can beat them, we're taking on Gloucester or Chorley. If we don't beat them, then we're going to be doing the end of season review. So, either way, this episode is going to be standard length so you're not going to be able to tell straight away just by looking at how long it's been or how long the episode is how we did in the first match so if you do want to enjoy this episode do make sure to leave a like and subscribe also comment down below if you want to take one of the players from the youth intake which is a couple of episodes back there now so if you want to pop onto that have a look at the players and then tell me which one you want i will change their name and you can follow them in the series so let's get into the episode So as I said in the intro, we're taking on Darlington Gloucester are going to be playing Chorley. So filed in York, the two teams that were at home in, uh, we need to go to stages so I can show you, filed in York, boat lost. So that's unexpected. The away teams took the, the victory. So hopefully we can beat Darlington. Um, absolutely nothing has happened since you were here last because... We played Kettering and, or played Blythe and Kettering in the last episode. So we're going into this one. Hoping we can do the best. Um, Michael O'Sullivan. Seems to be a good player. Do you want us to play with a lower defensive line? I don't think so. So this is how we're lining up for today's game. We are without uh, Jay Ben, who is suspended. So we have Pasha starting at right back. That shows how absolutely horrendous Match Lenor has been. That he's not actually getting even an opportunity to start this game uh, but we've got Renshaw in goal Pasha Flowers Wilson and Stephenson as our defensive line Thomas Willis Freel and McKay as our midfield I guess uh, Bonington and Knowles starting up front Rydell his form's been shocking I've had a chat with him but I have to see how he gets on uh, McKay hasn't been in the best of form either um, Adam Thomas does come back for today's game hopefully he can do something he did pick up an injury and missed a couple of games so i'm hoping that he's got like you know the ascendancy he's back in now he's gonna be like yeah we're gonna do this i am weary because darlington did start quite well um i'm gonna tell the lads just to pick up where they left off they are kind of motivating them it's fantastic i've motivated a good portion of the midfield and our left back Hopefully our goalkeeper doesn't shit the bed today because I don't have a, def or a goalkeeper on the bench. But this is an important game. And we are playing, as we did, the cautious mentality. It's been working. I don't see any reason why we'd stray away from it. It gives us an opportunity to push forward if needs be. McKay, I think he hit the post or might have just been the... Okay, no, it wasn't the post. Uh, just hit the back of the... <clears throat> or the top of the net, I suppose. Um, yeah, we're starting off fine so far. Thomas cuts inside a little bit, turns Willis, uh, gets onto it. Stephenson, our Papua New Guinea left back, and Bonnington. Oh, ho, ho. I feel like the these shots. We haven't had a shot in target yet, by the look, but it, that's okay. Pasha with the throw. It's cleared away, but Freel picks it up. Flowers finds Stephenson. Stephenson. He's trying to shake off his man, but gets the ball across Bonnington into French's hands. I think we played Darlington not too long ago, actually. I can't remember the result. I remember we played Chorley fairly recently. And it wasn't the best of results. I think we got a draw. Uh, Bonnington, he's headed over again. Have we still not had... Okay, we've had one shot on target. Yeah, one shot. Darlington have had one shot. And that was on target. We've uh, not been great. We've had one clear-cut chance. Two long shots. Okay. I think we have... Yeah, we have a corner. Nothing came from the corner. <laughs> Why did they show us that? Okay. That's fine. Uh, the Darlington goalkeeper's goal kick wasn't the best, but we've come away with it. Knowles has hit the upright. The Darlington defender sends it back to their goalkeeper, who boots it very far away. Freel, that's never ascending off. That is never ascending off. Okay, this is fine. 
Um, I'm going to bring Kern on for Knowles. I can't believe Freel got himself sent off. Alright, come on. Make me proud. You don't care. A right, bit of encouragement. I can't believe Freel got sent off. For a nothing challenge, like. That was... Oh. We're up against it now. Up against it now, lads. 2,000 people showed up to this game. Our stadium can hold 4,000. Okay, our stadium can hold 4,000. We've been maxing out at like 500. <laughs> Maybe 600 on a good day. Uh, come on, lads. I know you can get the result here. Stephenson is playing really, really well. Nobody else is playing. Uh, Bonington's having a good game. Harry Flowers is having a decent game. Everyone else, a little bit... Uh, uh, Knowles <laughs> anxious doesn't really matter he's not on the pitch so took a bit of encouragement as I said Gloucester have taken the lead against Chorley I don't really want to play extra time uh, Willis the keeper did get a touch to it okay thought it just went over but it didn't Curran's going to step up to take the corner who is going to be in the box oh, was that Wilson clattered it off the, the crossbar we are we are just very unlucky so far Curran with another one Jack McKay, get in. The big target man who hasn't really done all that well in the second half of the season. Um, once Bonnington and Knowles kind of got their striker strike partnership working, everything's been different. That that goal has brought him up. I was considering taking him off. Willis has now picked up an injury. That's both my midfielders. <clears throat> Willis isn't our player. But he's also one of our best midfielders. So probably should consider taking him off at some point. Stephenson is playing quite well. That's nice. Um, all right, We are running towards the end of the game. We're going to take Willis off for... I'm going to have to bring on Merrill. And... Um, yeah, we're going to leave it at that for now. But I'm going to give him just a little bit of a... Make me proud. He is motivated, which is fantastic. We have one substitution left to make. Come on, Chorley. Come on, Chorley. All right. Five minutes left. Nothing is happening. This is fine. Three minutes left. We're going to make our final substitution. Bonington is dead, but we don't have a striker to bring on. Although we could move McKay. Up front, take Bonington off and bring on Rydell. Bring him back to play here. Just have him as a, a winger on support. McKay. Uh, be a pressing forward. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. I know you don't want to get further forward. That's fine. Trigger press more often. Rydell. Make me proud. Motivated him. This is fantastic. Play. Let's just see the game out. Curran actually... Played a 7.1 after he came off the, the bench after 35 minutes. That's actually significantly better than I was expecting. So I'm quite happy with that. Curran has been in and out of the team since, well, oh no, Stephenson's gone down injured. <laughs> of course, it will be because we made our final substitution. <sighs> Stevenson loses the ball. And he's fine. Um uh, port match for us to make sure give the fans a good performance. Yeah, Stevenson's fine. So he just fell over. Or is he actually injured? No, he's fine. Just fell over. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, we're going to move Thomas forward, make him a winger on attack. And I'm not going to make any changes yet because I don't want to, don't want one of my players just, you know, falling over. Like five minutes into this extra time and then us being with... Oh, it's offside. Oh. The telltale sign. It's offside. Oh, because Curran was blocking the keeper. Oh. We're, we'll be playing Gloucester, but we're going to be very tired after this game. Hopefully they give us a bit of time in between. 
because I don't really want to be playing again in like four days. All right, so into I can't believe they scored right at the end of right at the end of the. Oh. Right, there's ten minutes left. We have one substitution left to make. My players are dead, basically, and I don't want to take Stephenson off. What's Flowers penalty taking? Seven. Wilson? Five. Craig? One. Okay. You are not going on. <laughs> Maddie Waters, what, what is your penalty taking? It is a ten. Stephenson's? Two. But he's having a good game. He's having a good game. Thomas, what's your penalty taking? Seven. McKay's is nine. Mm. Players are dying though. Do I take off? The, I'm not. I'm not going to take off the keeper. Am I? Am I going to take the keeper? Actually, penalty taking in nine. Okay, actually, qu easy. No, that's the, the wrong one. That's the wrong number. Okay, so Waters is our second best penalty taker. Our worst penalty taker on the pitch right now is Pasha. So I could bring on Water. Ah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. Pop Stevenson over to that side. Pasha can come off. Waters can come on. Make me proud. We have 10 minutes. And I'm there making substitutions with the intention on penalties. So we're probably not going to fuck it fuck it it's not going to do much but we had an opportunity right um choose amongst yourselves lads choose amongst yourselves uh pump fists uh, hands on hips we have the home advantage make a count relax pick your spot don't change your mind Relax, pick your spot, don't change your mind. Utmost confidence. Utmost confidence. Utmost confidence. Fantastic. You, I kid, I don't care. I don't care if you are not 100% sure about this penalty shootout. You are not taking one. You are on the bench. Renshaw goes the wrong way. I feel like this. we might actually just do this match in this episode. Because I feel like this is going to go on for a while. Waters. Back of the net. It's all going well so far. 1-1. One, one. Charman. Charman. Charmander. Sends, gives Renshaw the eyes. Puts it behind. Or into the back of the net. McKay. Steps up. Oh no. We're going we're gonna to lose to Darlington. <clears throat> we're going to lose to Darlington. Cassidy. Steps up. Easy pass to Renshaw. We need. We need. Who's next? Curran. Come on, Curran. Come on, Curran. Just. Just puts it past the keeper. Perver. Perver the pervert. Renshaw can't reach it. I think. Is it Stephenson stepping up next though to take the penalty? Because his name is highlighted. I imagine it is. No, it's Thomas. Don't know. what. Maybe Stephenson was the last person. No, because he... I don't actually know. Alright, Thomas. Put it in the back of the net. Okay. Renshaw has to stop Mondal from scoring. Or Mondal has to miss. I'm hoping it's going to be Mondal missing. Renshaw, come on. I can't believe we've lost in the playoff. Oh, all because Stephenson fucking fell over. We dominated the match. We were so much better than Darlington. <sighs> Getting sent off early is unacceptable. Uh, Terry Stephenson, man of the match though, you know, can't deny, that was 
pretty good. We're going to get the end of season review pretty much almost instantly. Right, fellas? So it is the end of season review now. We're going to do this right now because why not? Um, Fulham, interestingly, won the FA Cup. Did not see that coming. Um, They beat Arsenal on penalties in the final. So that's good for them. Uh, We did sign quite a number of players. Uh, Looks like nobody won <laughs> signing of the season. Uh, Bonnington had pretty decent season, I have to say. So did Flowers. That's pretty pretty good, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, can't really complain, I suppose. So we were expected, no, we did not expect the top half finish. We were expected to get relegated. We had an average home attendance of 14%. The border understanding of the team's failure to progress past the semi-final of the non, of the National League North playoff. We were expected to be doing like here. We finished here. That's ridiculous. How do, they must be, they're happy. They're only happy with our FA Cup run. We made it to the second round. Um, and in the Bill Bass Trophy, they expect us to reach the first round. We got to the quarterfinal. Okay. Um, biggest win was 7-2 against Ashton United. Match star number was 5-1 against Chester. Goal of the season went to Freel against Berry Town. I think I showed you that goal. Uh, finances, obviously, everything's good because it's the first year. No short sales at all. Uh, but we made a decent amount of money off the corporate and hospitalities. Competition prize money was pretty good. And match day commercial and retail did pretty decent as well. Because we had that those couple of games in the FA Cup that got us a decent bit of, of money. Um, in terms then of the best 11. Renshaw and Gold, Ben, Flowers, Wilson and Stephenson. Pretty much my back five. Thomas Friel, Willis and Rydell. I would say that's probably the midfield I played most. And if and when they were all fit, they probably... All started. Uh, Bonnington and Knowles up front. Who had the most assists? Bonnington with 15. It's pretty good. Uh, most goals went to Knowles, obviously with 36. Also played 52 games. A bit more games than Renshaw in goals. He didn't miss that many games, to be fair to him. Uh, we did win the manager of the month for April, as I said. Uh, fans player of the season went to Bonnington and young player of the season. Goal of the season went to Freel, as we saw. Dominic Knowles, 36 goals, most assists. Bonnington, 15. Also had the most player of the match awards with 8. Uh, highest average rating was Harry Flowers with 7.5. To be fair, I didn't actually think he was going to be our like main, one of our main centre-backs this year. He proved me wrong. Fantastic. Uh, Willis completed 41 passes per 90 minutes. Didn't win any competition awards, which, you know, that's fine. Um, everything is breaks record, but Renshaw... 15 clean sheets was 15 clean sheets was the most of anybody. Uh, worst discipline went to Harry Flowers as well. 18 yellows and two red cards. Uh, youngest player was Lawrence Luca. 16 years and 91 days. Uh, the oldest player, 32 years and 208 days. Interesting. Uh, fastest goal, 21 seconds. Youngest goal scorer and oldest goal scorer. All that interesting stuff that you really want to, you know. Uh, confirmed the attendance for the game against Darlington was a record high for the club uh, previous record was 1800 against Stamford in 1979 so we've managed to break a pretty decent record we've already looked at the season review so next season they want us to play attacking football counter-attacking sorry, counter-attacking attacking football Intra fantastic uh, work within the wage budget they want us to reach the playoff I feel like I've set the expectations just a little bit too high, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, they want us to establish as a National League team from there on. But I, my contract expires. I'm probably going to be looking for a job during the summer anyway. Um, and a season team meet. We'll have, I'll do that in a minute because obviously nobody wants to see that because it's quite boring. Very few injuries of players that are still here anyway. Um... Like Adam Thomas was injured when we, we arrived. But when he came back, he was pretty pretty good. Um and they are the lads are going away on holidays until the fourth of July. So that is fantastic for them. We do have Alan O'Reilly joining us next year. Uh, an Irish midfielder who was just I don't think he's very he's not that good, but he's from Tullamore. So, you know, we'll 
yeah, whatever. It's great. It's fine. Um, finances are looking f fine. We're projected to not lose any more money before the end of the season. Um, they expect us to make money for the rest of the rest of the time. That is delightful. I can get behind that. Um, so now we're just going to be building for our next year, which I'm assuming we're going to be in this league again. Unless something happens. I have no idea where Curzon Ashton is on a map. Um, Raydell is the best left back in the league. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe that's why we've not been winning games. We've been playing at left midfield. Um, but we are going to be without... Kidderminster and either Gloucester or Darlington. I kind of hope Darlington go up now because of the fact that they beat us. But at the same time, really should have beaten them. I'm so disappointed. But yeah, that is the end of it. Um, as I said, the FA Cup was won by Fulham on penalties. Um, who won the build base trophy? Hasn't been finished yet. It's Altrincham against Aldershot. Hmm, interesting. Did not see that being the uh, the final, but that is delightful. So for next season, we are losing some of our, some quite important players. Uh, Cade Craig didn't really play too many games, to be fair. Uh, yeah, he, we'll just ignore that. Um, I would like J. Ben, Rydell, Willis and Bonington back next season. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we also have no idea if they're any good or not, but that's fine. Um, some of our players are wanted as well. Flowers wanted by Maidstone, who are promoted into the... Maidstone got promoted to the National League. Yeah, they got they won National League South. Wilson's wanted by Sutton, Ipsfleet and Maidstone. Sutton are in League One for next season. They um finished third in League Two. So I feel like he's probably going to go there. He's also on a non-contract, which is not ideal. Uh, Stevenson's wanted by Ipsfleet. Thomas is wanted by Grimsby. McKay is wanted by... Yeovil. I feel like this team is going to be quite a bit different for uh, <laughs> for next season. But yeah. Um, the next episode you see is going to be a transfer roundup and probably the first league game of the new season. Unless we move. We do have we have just signed a new contract but my contract does include a 60% commission commission compensation um, if we do leave. So that is currently 24,000. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I only signed this contract because I didn't really want to be without a club for next year. Give me a bonus for winning the FA Trophy. Okay. Um, yeah. So, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Maybe uh, maybe I'll be here at the start of the season. Maybe we won't. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe we leave during the season. We haven't, I haven't decided yet. But if you have enjoyed this episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your friends. And I will see you in the next one.